And now, another episode of Crit Camp Gaming. Yes! He comes from the white and he turns into food! He comes back, he is safe fool! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was hoping you had a cool one. I was one. late, I was late on that, late on that. <laughs> Are you down with ODD? He's ODB! <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, dirty bastard. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining joining us guys tonight. It's Quest B5. Episode number 9, September 18th, 2017. And who do we have here tonight? Special guest. It's Sean Patterson, everyone. Woo! One of our greatest campers. You might know him. Magic. Yeah. <laughs> you know him from, from the chat, guys. One of our longtime campers. We've seen his awesome work. Um, on our Black Plague of Bomb, we seen his Necromancer, we showed it off before. We didn't bring him on for that because it, was, it just didn't work out. But now we've got him here for something even more next level. I don't even know. He keeps stepping it up. Um, he did a bunch of modern paints for us as well. Um, so you saw him on for that. Sean, how are you doing, buddy? I am doing excellent. Yes. So... Sean, Sean has, has done some awesome work for us for the Black Plague series here. But Sean, this will be your first time playing Black Plague. Yes, it will be. Yeah. Are you excited? So I, I'm, I'm pumped. Yeah. yeah. I, <laughs> I, I, so I, you know, everyone said well, the uh, connection. Between... Anyway. Um, anyway, people, oh yeah, Black Plague is so much better than modern. So anyway, uh, I'm excited to see how it goes. Yeah gonna be cool but you're familiar enough with the modern zombicide that a lot of stuff transfers over and yeah. it's gonna be pretty sick um other than that uh let's let's get into how you've been doing man before we show off your awesome minis that you brought to the camp uh this time around uh how you been doing what's what's new with you what have you been playing other than zombicide uh well we just got massive darkness and so oh, actually we, we've we've played it a, a few times have not won one or have not successfully completed one uh, mission yet. Oh, is that serious? Everybody's been killed. Oh, really? <laughs> is it that yeah. difficult? I don't know. I, I'm not sure what the... Hey, I'm still trying to figure out what... Uh, are we picking the wrong survivors? Are we getting the wrong equipment? I don't know. I'm not sure yet, so... Oh, that's cool, though. Know, it's, but that's so. fun. You're exploring the game. You're having fun with it. You're not just, uh, you're not just like, yeah, overdoing yeah. it and trying to just beat the game and crush it with your skills, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's awesome, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. So... It's, it's been fun. Well, you mentioned uh, mentioned before so, the stream, yeah, you've been playing a bunch of D&D with your kids? Yeah, so, and that, you know, and that was, so we got, so basically we got the minis for, uh, to paint for y'all, mm -hmm. and then the boys were like, hey, we want to we get into D&D. &D. Like, all right, you know, so we looked at, and you're like, okay, saw the, like, the, the three core books you have to get, like, that's 50 bucks each. <laughs> like, I don't know if I can go for that. You know, and so, uh, we found, you know, basically the starter set was twenty bucks. Okay, cool. We'll go for that. Is that the and red box? Actually, we're still playing. Is that the red box they just re-released? No, this this was a. Uh, basically, it's got the green dragon on it. Uh, it basically, it came out. It debuted with like whatever E five or, or whatever it is. Okay. Basically, the fifth edition. Ah. Uh, anyway, so we've been playing that, and it's been a blast. I mean, you know, because it gives you the core rules, and. Uh, it's funny, you know, because uh, so people always say, you know, you're the DM. You can, you know, basically what you say goes. And it happened where, like, my wife, she had, like, animal taming as one of her, I guess, uh, skills or whatever. And uh, so basically there's a, a, a pet wolf that this one uh, bugbear had. And so she's like, I'm going to try to tame it. I was like, well, you can't. It's it's a wolf. And I, <laughs> Fine, roll for it. She creates it. My, oh, oh. Oh, now he's nice. still got the wife crew. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, it's it's been a blast. Anyway, so yeah, that was one. I was like, yeah, I was feeling bad because people were like, they they all wanted to play this. I'm like, oh, I gotta paint these things. Okay, we'll play D and D. You know, it's like, oh, I, but I really need to to get back to to painting. And then we start watching. You know, we we start marathoning uh, the Flash. Oh, I yeah, really yeah, got yeah, paint, yeah. but this, the next episode, it's, you know, like, ah. Oh. Anyway, so that's what we've been doing, as well as the flood, so. 
Yeah, that's what, oh yeah, that's right, man. I mean, but uh, just before we get away from the D and D, and I want I definitely am going to ask you because everyone, just so you know, if you didn't know, Sean lives in Houston. We're just putting up pictures out in uh, in our Discord channel and everything, updating us during uh, the hurricane and how he was doing. But I wanted to say you've been an awesome part of the daily RP run by Doomflower in our Discord channel, which is like this daily RP we've been running. Your your Sifu. If you guys didn't know, this is Sifu right. right here. He, actually, in Twitch, you're now Sifu, <laughs> aren't you? Yeah. That's now your official Twitch name yeah, too. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it was just one of those things. I started to type out, "Well, see who does this." I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna change my name and just go. Okay, I do this. Mm. So that's well, a lot. That was the whole, the whole thing. I think that's book. brilliant. I love, I love the creativity that you all, all the campers are bringing to the chat, and you guys are changing your name. I'm, I, I want to change my name, but I'm like, no, no, man. I, I gotta keep it. I gotta keep it real. <laughs> I gotta keep it real. I, I'm the admin of this channel. I can't, I can't change it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm super jelly that you're all like, oh yeah. I'm Sifu now. I was like, man, you guys are hard <laughs> character-wise. But that's awesome, man. I'm glad you're playing with your family and doing the D&D thing with your family. I can't wait to do something like that and get creative. This is my first introduction to it, I know, with Lyle, too. So uh, it's been yeah, fun, like, man. Yeah, and I, that was the first time for me as well. Yeah, it's it's cool. It's in. I know it's different than D&D because Doomflower's running it without rolling dice and that kind of thing. And she's... Right. Is this... Have you seen this before in D&D? Like, anywhere? Like... Um, strictly yeah. tech, or I guess it's tech space and like just an evolving story. I mean, it's kind of a new way of of doing it. I think I don't know. It's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, Definitely. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. So if you guys, I'm enjoying it. Out, I'm, I'm it having out. a lot of fun, and she's doing an awesome job. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh round six oh. months. Let's give some crit cheers. He said half half a year. Yes. Thank you so much, Reld. Thank you. Wait, that wasn't Reld the Beast. That was Reld, right? That's <laughs> straight up Reld. <laughs> it's a regular Reld. Regular Reld, not the Reld the Beast. But um, so separate from that, that's awesome, man. I'm glad you've been doing it and enjoying it and, and being such an awesome contributor to that. Uh, I did want to ask, like you started saying, uh, you're down there in the Houston area. Got rocked by the hurricane. You were right there. Yes. Um, how are you guys doing? And uh, what's it like in your area? Like, give us a little update of being someone that's like at the front lines of this whole thing. Well, I mean, you know, like I said, we, we were very fortunate. I mean, you know, it basically came up half our, halfway up our uh, driveway. And, Jeez. you know, and, and our, our our street was, I mean, it was flowing. I mean, it was, you know, I was like, oh, man, what's behind there? What's what's pushing this? What It's going gonna, it's gonna to rise and it's come up quick. But, like, we were lucky and it didn't rise anymore. But uh, just, like, across the street, like, the entire... Uh, subdivision flooded because I had to take some fans over there to help them air it out. Yeah. And as you're driving down the street, good lord, the the smell just like man, we got so lucky. Oh man. And I... but I mean all, all the trash is still out on the curbs because they it's I mean you know, you're talking about the entirety of Houston basically flooding and everybody having to to trash their house and, it, it, and so the trash pickup is slowly picking it up but obviously yeah. it's gonna take some time. What's the what's the water and that situation? That was one of the mayors. Like? What do you mean? Like, uh, can you drink the water? Is tap water safe now? Or? No, yeah, 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 no, yeah. It's it's they never deemed it unsafe. Oh, okay. I don't. At least in our area, I'm not sure. I don't think they did anywhere else. Good. I'm glad. Jeez. But uh, but yeah, you know, and like people just got in their uh, houses this past week because they've been underwater still. It's wow. crazy. Wow. Wow. I can't believe that. Just your neighbors right across the street. That'd be, that'd be crazy, yeah. man. Wow. What was it like during the storm? I mean, like, was it crazy windy? Like, did you get any damage to your house at all? Did anything fall down? No, no, we didn't get any real, real high winds. It was, it was just the pounding rain. Consistent. <laughs> Jeez. But luckily, like I said, it, it, you know, like the first day, you know, it was, it was just in the street and then it was, was, you know, then we woke up and it had all subsided, and then it rained and rained and rained and rained, and it was like, okay, it's coming up, you know. And so we we moved pretty much everything upstairs, and we we're like, you know, hey, if, it, if we flood, you know, oh well, that's, you know, it was meant to be, I guess, or whatever. And uh, so we just kind of, we were kind of basically like, it's gonna flood. Yeah. You know, what can you do? Right. We're gonna be upstairs. Wow. You know? So you literally moved, you packed up everything and moved it upstairs. What that's we could, yeah. Wow, man. We put basically what we couldn't, we put on bricks to help get that, you know, six inches or whatever. Just a little bit higher? Jeez. Just a little bit higher. 
See, that's what terrifies but, me, but, being like, I mean, you're a father, um, you have kids, you have your wife, you have a family, and when something like that <clears> happens, <throat> it's like, I mean, I grew up in Oregon, <clears throat> and uh, rather than hurricanes, and in Florida, I went through Charlie, but that was an apartment, it wasn't concern, it was like, all oh, the windows might break and stuff like it. it, it was whatever, but with a family, like, I was worried about, I never understood, like, with a forest fire coming through, which people are dealing with out in the West right now, these major disasters happening, like, I don't know, man, that, taking taking charge and being able to say, like, like, I mean, like, like, we do a lot of board games here, right? I mean, you have board games and stuff. You, you don't think, like, that's not what's important, but it's like, what do we do? <laughs> like, what about all your things? Those those family yeah. photos, those those stuff. Well, like, move it. Like, where? <laughs> like, I mean, and, <laughs> yeah. then, and then you're just like, screw it. I just, it, our lives are more important. Let's get upstairs. Let's be safe. I mean, that's good on you, man. So it sounds like, uh, sounds like you stayed pretty brave and you sta- stayed pretty... Uh, Everyone stayed pretty well. The kids were well, yeah, okay. Nothing yeah. was too scary. I mean, I'm sure it wasn't comfortable. <laughs> well, you know, and that was the other thing. Is, I mean, we had, you know, a, uh, we had power the entire time, so it wasn't like we were, you know. So basically, we're just glued to the TV, just watching, you know, constant, you know, uh, news coverage. Wow. So. Wow. Wow. You had power the whole time. You've never lost power since. No. Wow. Yeah, you are lucky, man. Jeez. Yeah. Wow. Well. I'm glad someone was looking down on you. <laughs> I'm glad someone someone's <laughs> yeah. looking down on you and that you had good luck. You rolled some good crits there and got through it. But uh, uh, I know you're probably out there. Well, it's awesome you're out helping your neighbors and doing stuff like that. Um, have, what's what's been the re- recovery stuff like? What have you been doing uh, besides just bringing fans and stuff? Have you been real busy with that? We've uh, yeah, we we took took fans over to some some uh, other uh, family members that that are at our uh, the school that my kids go to. And then we were uh, basically taking out like all the, uh, cause the, their, the kids school flooded. And so uh, we were over there taking stuff out of that, you know, basically demolishing it. Wow. With, with, uh, so anyway, so we, we did that. And uh, other than that, we haven't, that was about it. But uh, Yeah. That sounds like a lot. Was enough. I mean, uh, that was, yeah, it was, it wasn't fun. No, I bet. I bet. Well, we won't, so, I won't have you keep talking about it because it's, it's done. It's passed. You're growing from it, and you're gonna be. Uh, you're recovering well. It sounds like, and we're all glad here at the camp to see that you're you're doing well. I know from us, man. That's that's great. I was sitting here thinking, oh man, I hope everything works out. And it, it sounds like it's 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 not the best, but we're glad you're safe and that the family's okay and all that good stuff. So rock and roll. Oh, I just realized when you when you did the the just I wanted to to troll you and have my kids bring in like a fake mic and then have to <laughs> adjust it. <laughs> Oh, is that the thing I do all the time? Because it's always falling down as I'm talking. Production value. Production value. Oh, savage. He gets in there. (laughs) Brutal. Brutal. All right, man. Well, I'm excited. I'm excited to be here. Sean, as as Lyle is out gallivanting, and we get to hear, we got an update from Sean. We're lucky to have Sean here. Sean's going to hold it down and represent Lyle's half. Because, yeah, who knows? Lyle's out at the coast or something like that. I don't know, whatever. He's having fun doing something else, not moving around, trying to move. Meh, meh, I have one hand, whatever. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're glad to have you guys in chat. Sounds like everyone's ready to come and play some Black Plague and see what Sean has brought us. Um, so, before I do that, I just want to say I, I thank you so much for all the subs and all the resubs, guys. Really appreciate it. Uh, it's good to see you guys. Um, you're all entered to win automatically the Prison Outbreak Zombicide Box this month. We're not going to be here next week, uh, but we'll still be doing this giveaway. And technically... Sean, this might be the last physical board game stream for a few weeks, guys, just to be honest. We're going to go digital Thursday, and then they're going to be a week off next week because I'm hopping in a truck and moving all this stuff south or west, I guess, is where Pennsylvania is. <laughs> We're boarding to New York. But uh, and then and then we'll be back, and so hopefully in the next few weeks we'll be back online. But Sean is going to be like on for the final one for a little bit. But that does not mean that even though we're turning three years old next week, guys, three years old. Oh! <laughs> Crit Camp nice, will be three-year nice. anniversary will be next week. It even says, oh, no, it doesn't. It just says 2014 on you. got your awesome shirt on tonight, too, I see. Yeah, yeah. Hell, yeah. It looks good, guys. Oh, it looks good. That's so cool. Um, even merch. though we'll be turning three, we're still going to be doing this uh, giveaway for you guys. If it's not next week, because we're not going to be live next week, it'll be happening the following week if we can get online. So, uh, rock and roll. Thank you for, so much for all the support, guys. We really appreciate it. Uh, we're looking forward to giving giving away that good thing to celebrate three years for you guys. Three crit for the win. Right, I don't know. Three year hype says JXM. 
Right on, right on. So let's get into this, guys. We're here going to play a special mission, but first we have to debut these new minis. Um, we're going right. to be do debuting the new minis. We're going to be doing uh, the new Necromancer for the night. Um, and then uh, talking about what these new minis represent, because this is all new stuff to the camp. So, oh, wore my shirt today also says Dayu. Yes! Rock and roll. That's right, guys. If you got your crit shirts, be sure you send them. We can be sure you get your pictures up there on the stream. It's going to be sick. Um, so let's rock and roll. Let's start with debuting these minis. What do you say? Want to talk about some let's mini action? All right, guys. Here they come. Let's do something. Let's do this. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, these look sick. Guys, check it out. Amazing. It looks so sick. Sean, you have stepped it up. You've taken it to the next level, guys. These are the Obama Beasts from Black Plague. Um, I don't, I don't believe they're Kickstarter. Oh no, they are Kickstarter exclusive yeah. uh, zombies. Um, this right. and the the next one we'll be showing. But this is the Obama Rat, the Obama Rat, the Obama Rat. So tell us about that. We're already getting sweets all over in chat. T tell us about your process with the Obama Rat, and I'll go through and, and show it off a bit here. Well. You know, this one I was, you know, when I, when I first got into Zomicide, and then I saw this, I was like, oh man, you know, I want to paint that, but it was like, you know, I was looking, you know, I'd missed the, this, the Kickstarter, and, uh, and then I looked on eBay, and, you know, it was a thousand dollars, you know, three hundred dollars or whatever, I'm like, that's craziness. Anyway, so I, you know, basically, I hit you up, hey, I'd really like to paint this thing, and so, hey, so I, you know, I put a lot of pressure on myself, I was like, I gotta do it right. So the first time I painted the skin, I used this, uh, I should have brought it out here, but, you know, it's a, it's a rat something from Citadel. It, and it's actually just, called rat skin? Yeah, it's like, it's like rat skin or something. <laughs> I forget what it's called. That's freaking awesome. But he was just, he was just orange. And I was like, uh. oh, oh no, that's, that's not going to work, especially now with, in today's climate with politics and whatnot. Can't have an orange rat going around. And uh, <laughs> I was like, look, you know, I was like looking like Snooky. You know, coming from Jersey Shore, but um, <laughs> anyway, so I had to basically. Oh, just, savage! <laughs> anyway, so I, I got him nice and pink, and uh, anyway, he, he was a blast to paint. I, I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, he's he looks so good, man. Like just the detail alone in the uh, in in the. I'm gonna back it up here, back back to the beginning here. See <clears> the front, <throat> like the guys. When when we got this thing in the mail, I, I opened up the box and I was like, it was shut. So I knew it was going to be tight. He did great with all everything else you've sent us. But open this up. And if you guys can see here, if you look real close, if you just see the goo coming off his teeth, dripping off the spikes, the uh, how did you do that? That looks, that's like that detail is ridiculous. Yeah, I just basically I heated up the wife's uh, hot gun, hot, hot glue gun. Yeah. And just, I was, like, I was like, okay, I can't mess this up. Okay, you know, real... Just getting there, you know, and uh, it worked out. You know, some places like, oh, I wish I could redo that a little bit, but I was like, I'm not, I'm not gonna touch it. It looks great. I mean, you know, paint it up, whatever, and and be done. Yeah, this this is amazing, and and also I have to say, like, I mean, the the fur looks amazing. The detail in the fur, it looks wet. It looks like when you touch it, you're gonna get wet. Um, the, yeah, the yeah, infections yeah. around all these bo bo Bob bobules, I don't know, bubbles around it, but like the pustules, pustules thank you, <laughs> bobules. <laughs> um, but the the stones and the dirt and the grit of the of the base, it just looks so cool. It just like I was looking underneath, and you got in there underneath with the paint, with the with the detail. Yeah. It's ridiculous. It was hard because because I, I, like originally I was gonna I was gonna take him off the base, but then I was like, well, I can I can work it out. I don't really I don't want to have to, but. Maybe I will. I don't know. Anyway, so I, I debated on taking him off the base or not, and then repinning him on there. But uh, anyway, but you know, so then, like I said, like it's when you flip it upside down, you know, it's it's dark anyway. So I just kind of, you know, it did amazing. Basically, dude. it's all dark in person. It looks amazing. And just a just as a size comparison, oh, whoop, no, it didn't do it. Okay, I think he's down here. Nope. Okay, <laughs> it didn't fix my thing. <laughs> I was trying to I was trying trying to show something here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. oh, it made him huge. Okay, we got huge. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Oh, there he is. There he is. <laughs> Guys, it's Pickles. Yeah! It's Pickles! <laughs> How the, is the Pickles? The before and after. The before and after, right. Here He's was doing good. He's doing good. He's doing good? Pickles got turned into a rat. So Pickles no longer exists, actually. Is that where you got the <laughs> orange paint? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
this was with the orange paint was the one on the left and then you went with the, the new paint color okay okay understood understood <laughs> pickles for scale exactly exactly so on to the next one guys we have to show off oh the abom abomina wolf Abomina, Abomina Alpha, Abomina Alpha. Abomina Alpha. So this is the Abomina Alpha, which comes along with the Abomina Rat. Uh, tell us about the Abomina Alpha and, and your process with the Abomina Alpha. He looks sick. He was difficult. I mean, you know, I'd heard like you know, painting with white was was hard, and uh, yeah, I soon found that out. And uh, anyway, so I mean, it was paint it, you know, fix this, fix that, you know, it was it was. It was it was a lot harder than what I thought it was going to be. But, uh, yeah, he came out awesome. I, I'm really, I'm really pleased with how he came out. Yeah. Oh, there's a rat. Yeah. The, his tail. Like the first thing I noticed, uh, you guys can see it really well right here. Um, you, you talked about that and getting that, the, those colors in with white and, and getting those, uh, all that. Dude, his tail looks like it's flowing in person. Like you. So I have to thank Sean dramatically. Sean took these awesome photos because my photos are like I have a potato camera and it's awful and I never do you guys justice with your minis. He sent these. It looks a lot better. When in person though, you look at this thing at its tail and it feels like it's like flowing. It's like awesome, man. You did a really good job on the detail of that tail. I was impressed. Yeah, yeah. I was super impressed. And, and so yeah, I did the, basically I did the same uh I guess technique or whatever you want to call it for the base, which was those are uh fish tank rocks oh. with with regular sand. Oh sick. Yeah, so, they look great. Yeah. Like, it's stupid. It looks so realistic. It's ridiculous. And I have to say, the eye even, the eyes look really well done. I'm impressed, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. You're stepping it up. I mean, I was telling Sean guys before the stream that he needs to start entering some of these into some competitions. Um, I think uh, I think I, I, I need to get some other stuff here. But we've got a talented camp here. You guys are amazing at camping. And, dude, you really stepped it up yourself this time around. I mean, look look how realistic the real rat yeah. on the right, and then the mini on the left looks. <laughs> they're on chat. They're all so asking. Lifelike. It's a guinea. They're like, look like a guinea pig. <laughs> Pickles has a snout. Well, the guinea pig is on the right, and then the, <laughs> the mini is on the left. There, guys. But um, the Abomina Alpha guys, the Abomina Rat by Sean Patterson. Cheers, buddy. Thank you so much. Cheers to you. No, you're welcome. You're welcome. To bringing this to the camp and doing this for us. Really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions for him, want to ask him about some of the techniques he's using in these things, definitely hit him up um, in chat. Feel free to ask. I know a lot of us. Uh, he posts his pictures up in, a, in the Discord as well um, from some of his work. We'll be sure we get those these up in the Discord too so you guys can take closer looks at them. Um, Eric the Great says, Cool Meter has things for voting and such on their page. Yeah, we were talking about that a little bit before the stream and getting them up there in the, in the forums. Um... Actually, we're asking. I know Evil Ed's in chat. He goes to Cool Main Art Expo and stuff like that. Uh, it, do you guys know in chat if they actually do like an amateur competition type thing um, or anything like that for up and coming artists like Sean? I don't know. We'd like. I'd like to know that. Yeah, because uh -huh. I only know of like the like what uh, oh, man, I can't think what's called the crystal the, the the crystal crystal brush. Right. Like, yeah, I don't know what that's below that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know any triple A below that. Right. Right. Yeah, I think layer, right? I think uh, I think yourself and a lot of people uh, in the camp should definitely uh, enter your uh, enter your works. These are great. I mean, you guys made the camp look amazing. Um, so definitely keep it up, guys. I, I think they do. Says Evil Ed, I, it would make sense that they do, and I think you you guys yeah, should totally have. do it. And if you guys in chat want to hit them up separately, hit them up in Discord, Sifu, <laughs> Sifu right now <laughs> over there, or at underscore Sean Patterson on Twitter. Uh, he's there hanging out, doing his thing. Um, showing off his art and maybe he can post some more pictures or maybe he, when he gets into some other stuff or finds time separate from surviving hurricanes, uh, running a D and D campaign, uh, playing games with the kids. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, work. <laughs> yeah. And work. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and work. So we really appreciate you taking the time, Sean, and doing that. So thank you so, so much for, from, from me yeah, and everyone in, out here. So, cause you did an amazing job, dude. You did an amazing job. I'm psyched. So, Let's find out what's happening tonight. Let's talk more about the Abomina Rat and the Abomina Alpha right now. Who are, oh no, yes, they're part of the Abomina Beast rules right here. Um, so basically the Abomina Beasts are abominations. Just like we've been introducing, uh, last week we introduced some new abominations in as like kind of bosses from the boss pack. Um, JXM is asking, yeah, you're playing D&D &D too. <laughs> yeah, he's a busy guy. We were talking about it earlier. He's, he's killing it. Um, so the Abomina Beasts, um, are like those abomin abomination uh, bosses. 
uh, that came with the zombie bosses pack. So we're going to be introducing them both in tonight. Y'all want me to rule on these? Um, what's that? Y'all want me to rule on these? <laughs> you know what y'all brought these down for? Oh, 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 oh he's on the thing. <laughs> no, no worries. I thought you were asking me a question. No worries. Do, do your thing. Do your thing. Um, oh, sorry. No, no worries. <laughs> so the Abominable Beasts are abominations. Um, it takes three damage to destroy them. Um, you get five points of experience. Uh, and the only special rules kind of vary based on what's going on with the individual abominations themselves. Um, so let's talk about them. Let's see what's going on with those. Uh, let's start with the Abomina Alpha. Now, the Abomina Alpha, there's the artwork picture, and this is the little thing you get there as well. Uh, Akbu's in chat. What's going on, Akbu? Um, we hung out recently. Oh, what's up? Were those the kids? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, they're, they're having me judge on the uh, super fight. Oh, so let's do it. Let's do it really fast, and I'll tell them I'm going to read up on the Abomina. We'll take a little break here. Let's do, let's do this. But hang on. What? We'll judge in chat. We'll let chat decide. Ju- with you. All right, so you got Willy Wonka that controls a tween army using the Force. Okay. Let's see. Robin Hood has a time machine, a time machine phone booth and three foot fingers. And three fingernails, what fingers? Sorry. Fingernails. Three oh. foot fingernails. Three foot fingernails. Oh, damn. Yes. And then you said this is Superman? Oh, yeah. So Superman can summon and command de- demons. Uh, their bites are infectious and turn their victim into a copy of their bite. So, <laughs> zombies. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay. Choose. Who wins? Willy Wonka? Is it Willy Wonka? You've got Superman. Robin Hood. And Robin Hood with a time machine that has three foot long fingernails. What was Willy Wonka? He had... Uh, Shows a tween army and uh, uses the force. <laughs> a tween army uses the force. And then, like, Superman, that's basically a zombie. Who wins in this battle, guys? Go! I want to hear it in chat. Robin Hood with three foot fingernails, says Jason. One, one Robin Hood. Really? Robin Hood with three foot fingernails? Yeah, Robin Hood. I don't know. I kind of like the Superman zombie thing because that's pretty ridiculous. And, and he's powered by the sun. Oh, so uh, another Superman. Remember, Superman is invincible. <laughs> you can't do the invincible thing you can't do that I was telling Sean when he was talking with his kids earlier about this that Scott, Scott Powered Scott um, he cheats in this game because he gets the OP card of infinite trampolines and wins every time every time so you got a second Superman, so Superman wins oh Superman wins, oh we got a Willy Wonka vote though Willy Wonka's in there now <laughs> and the wife's upstairs ha ha <laughs> <laughs> savage savage that was great that was awesome we'll tell everyone hi tell everyone hey that was good good game gg the camp says hi the camp says hi you say oh, hi. hi yes superman one Booyah. That's so good. All right, guys, back to this here. So if you guys haven't seen the Abomina Alpha before, um, I'm not going to read the, the, the small lore here, but he's a badass wolf. He's a shapeshifter. He's bad news bears. Um, now, the special rules... So oh, subscribers! It's Yemen the Guardian. Yemen. Thank you for the sub, Yemen. Thank you so much, guys. Let's get some crit cheers and chat for Yemen the Guardian. We all know Yemen. Been around a long time. Now let's talk about this Abomina Alpha and his honor. Um, as long as Abomina Alpha is on the board, once he spawns and he's on the board, any runners that spawn will be replaced by zombie wolves. And it says that right there. Now we're going to do a little bit of a house rule tonight because I packed up my Wolfsburg expansion already and sent it to Pennsylvania. So I don't have all the extra wolves. I do have the three wolves um, that come in this box with the Abomina Alpha figure. So what we're going to do as a house rule is that uh, whenever the first three runners spawn um, the, and the Abomina Alpha is on the board, those will be zombie wolves. Um, if you remember from the first thing here, zombie wolves get three actions, um, just like the Abomina Alpha will, which I'll talk about here in a second. Um, zombie wolves get that, and their priority is over the runner and a necromancer. Um, so that'll happen there. Once we draw more runners, they will just be regular runners. So we're not going to give, like, the... Thanks for the follow, Taunster. Really appreciate it. Good to have you. Welcome to Best Camp. Um, so we're not going to give extra activations to the zombie wolves when we draw more runners while the Abomina Alpha's out. Uh, that would just be a little crazy. This is a small map, which we'll get into here in a second. Uh, so just be aware of that. That's kind of what we're doing there. Um, the Abomina Alpha, like I just said, gets three actions just like the zombie wolves. Um, so he will get 
unlike runners who get two act actions, two activations on their turn, two, three, two actions on their activation, the Abomina Alpha gets three actions on their activation. So this guy's going to move fast, and we're going to have to handle him very quickly. <laughs> uh, so he's a little scary. What do you think? What do you think, Sean? What do you think of the Abomina Alpha? Hey, he's going to be on us uh, pretty quick. Yeah, including so he's pretty, he's pretty scary. Yeah, they're going to be they're going to be hoarding us up pretty quickly because you have four dudes, including an abomination, on us pretty quick, no matter where he spawns. <clears throat> yes. So yeah, guys, we're we're making this one a little hard tonight because it's a little bit of an extra mission from Zombicide.com. You can go get this mission there for free. Um, as well. So on top of that, the Abomina Rat, like we showed earlier. Now here are the Abomina Rat rules. Whenever the Abomina Rat card is spawned, and, the, and the, he comes onto the board, he spawns one zone away from the noisiest zone currently on the board. Um, and it has to be an open passage to that group. So if you have a group of three dudes, and they're the loudest group, and they have an open door, the, the zombie rat are, yeah, will appear next to them there. Um, if there's equal noise for the noisiest zone, we get to choose where it is. It's just that he has to have an open path to us. Um, JXM saying they take three damage to kill also. Yes, they do take three damage to kill also, which you see here. So the zombie wolves, uh, or no, oh, the zombie wolves? No, the zombie wolves have one damage to kill. The Abomina Rat and the Abomina Alpha are three damage to kill each. Um, so it's going to be crazy. Sometimes. This is going to be crazy. This is going to be crazy. What do you think about this Abomina Rat? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's spawning right next to us. That's insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like a, I mean, the Abomina Alpha, I'm like, okay, he's like a giant runner wolf man thing, right? But the Abomina Rat is like a whole new abomination mechanic compared to like modern Zombicide and stuff. So I think that's going to be exciting. It's going to be fun seeing how uh, this dude can mess us up. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, that, I mean, that Alpha with it, with its three activations, I mean, that's it's pretty crazy. Yeah, that's going to be pretty crazy. Don't. So you've been playing Massive Darkness. Have you taken on the... Uh, the rats or is it the mice or something that can go through walls no I, I didn't actually get that expansion oh okay because that that that's what this reminds me of like crazy new mechanics that are coming in like <laughs> that you're like oh i'm good I'm, i have a wall between me and this thing nope <laughs> yeah <laughs> no well i guess we dealt with that last mission with that one dude but he can we kind of like oh outdid that <laughs> we kind of cheated on that one um not so much. Come on, we didn't cheat. But there you go, guys. Those are the abomination rules. We're going to be adding them in, and those are the two painted minis by uh, Sean. So rock and roll. We're excited to add them. Now, let's talk about what mission we'll be playing tonight. So it's Quest B5. Hush. You guys can go get this mission. It's an extra mission available on Zombicide.com. You go there. It's a free mission. So if you're looking for more fun, you've beaten all the base missions, and you're looking for a new challenge, here's one right here. It's, it's considered a hard mission. Great. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> I thought it was a media mission. It's a hard mission. Um, you only need Black Plague to play this. You don't need Wolfsburg. Four plus survivors. So we'll be playing with only four because Sean and I are OP. This game's too easy. Um, Sean what? hasn't lost on air. So we're going to have to win here. Um, so we, we've got Quest B5. Hush. We're out to explore what remains of the richest district in the city. But there are huge zombie herds all around the place. There are too many of them for us to kill. So we'd better get in and out as quietly as possible, preferably without being seen. It won't be easy. All right. So here we go. We've got some. We got some good stuff here. Um, basically, we have to just have to get all the objectives, right? Yeah. No, that, not everybody has to survive. Not everyone has to survive. Get all. Get all. All eight uh, objectives. And what's the, what's the catch, Sean? What's what's the biggest catch about this mission that's going to make it a real B? So the, the, the blue and the green uh, spawn points aren't active. Uh, well, actually, let me just read the thing. So it says, whenever a survivor ends his turn within line of sight of, to one or more zombie spawns. Oh, no, wait. No, it's any of them. Is it? Yeah, whenever a survivor ends his turn with a line of sight to one or more spawn zones. Yeah, I just say, I, I, I assumed it, I thought it was just those two. It's no, any. Okay. it's any of them. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> okay, immediately draw a zombie card uh, for these uh, spawn zones, no matter uh, no matter the zombie token color or status. Yep. Yes. So basically the blue and green spawns are inactive during the spawn step, but they will spawn if we're in line of sight of it, just like the red spawns um, at the end of any survivor's turn. <laughs> That doesn't mean like my two characters and then we do it. It's every time you activate. So we have to, every time we move a character, we're going to have to keep in mind, like, and you see how these streets are. 
I mean, like, it's like a grid. We're either indoors and we're out of sight, but even if you're indoors, you're going to have to be around a corner on some of them. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're just like, oh, no. <laughs> well, and, I was, yeah, like, I didn't, I didn't, that didn't quite, you know, whatever, whatever, ends his turn. Like, oh. There's a reason, <laughs> there's a reason this mission is uh, 90, 90 minutes max, um, probably because you're going to die, like, four times before you even pull it off. <laughs> <laughs> Eric the Great saying, don't end your turn in the intersection, you'll get double spawns. Correct. That is very true. And even if you end your turn, and I'll go to the board full here, if you end your turn, let's say, inside this doorway, um, you're still within line of sight of this spawn inside that room. So you need to be sure you get over into this room to make sure that you're not getting uh, killed off. So there you go. <laughs> That's basically the nice. mission, guys. Get all the objectives and don't spawn so many zombies that we die. <laughs> Evilhead says this will end in blood and tears. <laughs> so many tears. So many tears. Um, but what makes it even more difficult, guys, not only are we all adding in two new Abomina Beasts uh, for this mission and the zombie wolves because they come with the Abomina Alpha. No, no. We've got to add in a Necromancer for the night. And here it is. We're adding in the Blackheart for the first time. Now, the Blackheart is part of the Stefan Kopensky box. Um, his thing, I don't have his card up to tell you guys that, but there's some back, back lore. Now, this Necromancer spawns like any other Necromancer. Normal Necromancer rules. Problem is, he can only be killed by weapons that do two damage or more. So you can't just go up with a sword and kill him if it's a one damage sword or something like that. So it's got to be two damage to kill this Necromancer. We'll split his cards with three regular and three black cards. And Sean's going to keep track of every other one. Um, it's okay. the rule we're going to play tonight uh, and the way we're going to do it. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, let's get into who we're playing with to destroy these guys. What do you say? Let's do it. All right, man. Let's do it. Whoop. Hold on. I'm pressing wrong buttons. Pressing too many buttons. Beep, beep. All right. Going into it. I'll start it off here. I'm bringing him for the first time as part of the Paul Bonner box, I believe it is. He's part of. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Paul Bonner blocks. This is Klom. Uh, Klom, come on. If you think you're tough enough. <laughs> <laughs> this is my boy here. He's an awesome mini. I'll show him here. I, I would love to have this one painted as well. He's really cool. He's got that awesome shield on his arm. Um, but Klom is Barbarian. Now, we haven't used the Barbarian skill yet. Uh, but basically, it's like full auto, but for... Or maybe we have. No, I don't think we have. Um, but it's full auto for melee weapons. So you get into a zone. There's three zombies in there or actors, right? Does it still say actors? Yeah. If, if Sean's in there with yeah. a dude, I can still count his character as an actor. So I can add like four dice for my ax or something, um, which is going to be really cool. So if he gets in there with a group, plus the, plus the zombie, plus, plus the zombies. Zombies are yeah. So it's going to be sick. I don't count myself though. Right. Uh, others on, Oh, I do count myself includes In all other survivors and himself. So cool. Anything that so would count up as many characters that are in that zone with me, which is going to be pretty sick. Um, so I'm lo really looking forward to leaving him. Clom. Wait, what's his little special ability? Oh, I get an axe card, and I can hold on my back. And then I'm bringing out Warrior Princess. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> um, so Zeus is coming in here. Zuxa, 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 Zuxa. Zuxa? Yeah. Shaksha. Your guess is as good as mine. Okay, Shaksha. <laughs> so she'll be our a bomb killer because we're going to have an Abomina Alpha trying to murder us every five seconds. So I can treat all melee weapons as threes. This is my po this is the female Padre Johnson right here, guys. Female Padre Johnson. So let's get it done. Uh, Sean, who will you be playing as? I got the and the, the nun with her bloodless melee. Yes. Let's be able to get in there and, you know, yeah, I, like, I like the move and hit something yeah dude combo wombo hit. action basically built into exactly. one skill um you get the and it's free melee that's sick awesome yeah. bloodless melee it's a crazy nun the crazy nun I'm gonna get in there and then you're going with ah oh, lady grim lady grim and she's got the show show ability so if it gets too crazy we can just you know move people out of the way and you know, right. do what we need to do that's right leave or whatever push them push them and it's yeah. free right yeah, this is one of the big Lyle things. You get the shovel build. I like her quote. Go. Uh, let's see. They call her Lady Grimm. And the, I, see, I'm trying to imitate you. Okay. They call her Lady Grimm. The other, uh, the other knights. Oh, crap. It's all fucked up. Uh, the peasants, her lord. Nobody has asked her uh, what her name is, but neither has she volunteered it. Uh, she volunteers almost nothing. Uh, says most nothing since the day she showed showed up in, uh, at the fort. Uh, 
half drowned and wearing a ruined what? Ruined arming jacket. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. I lost my place. Okay, so her eye and her face marred by a, a lurid cut. She has been mysterious oh, she... and quiet. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. okay, but she has been but she has also been fierce, the strongest defender of the fort. The first into into any fray, zombies stop moving when she hits them with her war with her war hammer and, uh, and don't get don't up. get up again. Nice. <laughs> Saying it's the blind Baelish. Barbarian was changed <laughs> in Black Plague, but they are still using the modern description in the app. Oh, okay, Captain Napalm says. In Black Plague, Barbarian only counts as zombies. Ah, oh, good to know. Well, there we go. Got no. some backstory on the Lady Grim. But we also just learned something there. That's awesome, Captain Napalm. Thank you so much. There you go, guys. Get some crit nose for Captain Napalm. That's good to know. A lot of the stuff with this app and he has, still needs a bunch of tweaks. Still new. Um, they've taken it in-house. Who knows? But good to know, Captain Napalm. Thank you. So it only counts zombies. I can't count me or you anymore. We used to be able to count ourselves. Boo! I was OP for a second. Boo! Boo! Boo. Okay. <laughs> Boom. So there's our characters, guys. Let's start this thing up and let's gear ourselves up. Let's get into the game. Sorry it's taken a little bit. We always get the comments on YouTube. So sorry to all our YouTube viewers that hate sitting here and going, eh, fast forward, fast forward. We had to talk to Sean. We had to show off some awesome minis tonight. And plus, it's our last one for a while. So I wanted to say hello. So back off. <laughs> Enjoy it. Okay, so um, I believe you can carry a hammer for free uh, with Lady Grimm. So you want to take the hammer? Go for it, yeah. Hammer's yours, my sir. Bear it well. Um, I might take... I guess I'll be going first, and we need to get into a door right away. Uh, or I'd like to get us into a door right away. I guess that means you could go, actually, first. Um, yeah, I don't roll teams. I'll take the... Oh, I can't, I can't rock a longbow on my back. I thought I could with Zusa, whatever looks so. Um, do you know, do you know what you want for Anne? She can rock a dagger yeah, for free. Short sword. Short sword? Yeah. Uh, I, I kind of want a lore, but that's a longbow. I'll go short bow here. Clom. Or oh, wait, no. Zusa can treat me. I want a short sword with her. What am I doing? Yeah, with yeah she wants a short sword. What am I doing with this? Yeah, because that's worth three damage, right? Yep. Yep. Um, Clom. Guess sword. Do are we allowed to take Maybe these other day. two? Or I think we're only allowed to take one each. Right? I don't know. I think you I think you are in a, if we only use four survivors, I'm not sure if this is an app thing. Guys in chat can correct me on this here. Uh it's one of, we've never played with only four dudes. Just want to make sure that uh, we still get the pick. Do you only pick one, even if you only have four, or do we get to keep them all? Oh, Anne wants melee as well. What was Anne? Well, Anne gets the dagger, right? What was Anne's thing? Oh, she's got, yeah, she gets the uh, blood loss melee. You get one each. Oh, everyone's saying one each. Boo! You guys are totally making this game Boo. hard. <laughs> Boo! 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 Okay, activate clone jujitsu. <gasps> Um, okay, let's do this thing. You ready to rock? Let's get into the gameplay, guys. Here we go. So as you know, Klom, Zuxa, right above here. He'll be blue and yellow over there. Lady Grim, rock and roll. Um, as the first turn, let's get in a round here, and then we can rock and roll through this thing. Um, I think, uh, what are we trying to do? Are we trying to get through a door first? Get geared up? Do it. Do I dare? What? <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> Who do I want to start with? Klom? All right, Klom. Klom, open door. Here we go, guys. Let's see if Klom can open the first door, because Sean's here. Let's do it for Sean, guys. Four plus. Ah! Oh, <laughs> oh, I didn't set up the doors. I didn't set up the doors. We got we to gotta start doing the, the doors bets again. Thanks for the follow, Defristrum. Really appreciate it. Klom's mini looks kind of big. It does. Defristrom, welcome to the best camp on Twitch. Yeah, check this out. I forgot I was going to say, yeah, he's huge. So this is Klom. He's one of the biggest hero minis uh, in the game right here. He is awesome. Uh, he's, he's really cool. Compared, you can see the other minis over there. And he just goes, the boof. So he gets to sit there and be awesome, dude. He's pretty cool. So I missed. Did he come with a color? 
Did he? Have, did he come with all the color bases? He comes with um, his own size purple base. Okay, just a purple. Yeah, just okay. one giant purple base for him. So he kind of has to be purple. Um, okay, so that's one miss. One door sound. Okay, I'm gonna try to finish this thing off, man. <laughs> Let's get through this door, guys. Yes, there we go. Ah, yes, thank you. Oh, and thanks for the bitch. Happy fun time live. Westgro, what's going on? Choo-choo. Here comes the bit train. <laughs> thanks, Westgro. Are those celebratory bits because I got through a door? Yay. Let's spawn this door. Dwa. And we got one fatty, guys. One fatty. Fat, fat, fat. Shamao. Okay. Shamao. Shamao. Okay, we got a fatty. Um, I'm going to make this Zeus's problem, I guess. Now, I don't want to move... I guess it doesn't matter, but I don't want to move into an intersection, right? Do we want to try to get out of line of sight of these things? Oh, if I end my turn here, we'll spawn this spawn point over here. I, now, I, but I think it's only the blue and the red. I mean, the blue and the green. No, I think it reads... So it, right? Do, doesn't it read that it's... Anytime... With line of well, sight to one or more spawn zones. Yeah, but if you have it, it says at least okay. So it says the blue and the green spawn zones are inactive during spawn steps. They're still activated by drawing attention. So we ignore them during the drawing standard attention. spawn. What one or more spawns? The only way you could be in line of sight of one or more would be with the reds. Any spawn says ETG. It's all zones says Sea Otter. <laughs> so we're kind of uh, in a bad mode. So I should probably move north so I don't have to spawn it. I'm going to go up through the door and just sit in there. I'm not going to kill him. Do it. So then I'm going to go in with Susa, I think they said in chat. The normal ones as well. They just don't spawn during normal spawn time. So the green and blue, right. So I'm going to go in there with Zusa. I'm going to whip out my sword. And get rid she of can't kill it. Oh, oh, yeah, she can. Never mind. Here we go. I'm going to kill this thing. Oh, it's a crit. <laughs> So already, Sean is good luck. We get the first crit of the night, guys. Let's get some crits in chat. Sean is good luck. Sean is good luck. Sean is good luck. Good sign. Never been less scared. Never been less scared with Sean here. <laughs> Sweet. Um, so I'm going to grab the Zex. Is that all right? Go for it. To see what it is. And then you guys maybe can uh, go around the corner, maybe, and take on the next door. Oh, we got some crits for the crit. Thank you so much, Wes. Appreciate that. Um, I'm gonna grab it. Here we go. Just gonna. I guess it's just an objective, right? Objective achieved. Boom! Because they're all red. So there we go. We got one. One down. We just gotta move. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, Shawnee, it's your turn. I'm just trying to decide. Do I want to go straight or go down? Yeah. I mean, you could come around the corner and try to go open that door. But you don't really have any extra movement, right? No. Because they're both both to both of those doors. It's it's two moves, and then so I think any either way, I'm going to be in spawn line of sight. You right. can, or you could you could duck up north with us and and search if you want. Just okay. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's go through go through a round of searching. Get buff. Get cool. So do that for the. Okay, so you want to just track. do that with Ann? Yeah. Okay. Moves up. Does a search. I think this is a good call. Ooh, you got repulse. But you already have shove. So that's a, yeah. You got an extra, <laughs> extra shove. Oh, except you can do this at range, right? Because you can select the target zone you can see. Oh, wait. Then in destination. Yeah. So you could do this like ranged shove. <laughs> there you go. You got ranged shove. We'll put that in your hand there. Dude, you got dual shove. Dude, you're all pushed today. Lau would be proud. <laughs> we, need to, we need the pool. Yeah. <laughs> Napalm saying you should go to the middle. Go to the west. We're going to get stuck in the corner. Never been less scared. All right, so what would you like to do? Just uh, go to your next character? Yeah. All right. And then same thing. Nate Grim. Nate Grim comes up. Brings up the equipment card. Oh! Repeating crossbow, dude. Good ranged weapon. Got some, got some range. Nice, dude. Okay, three dice, five plus. Rock and roll. 
Um, and then just stay in, right? Yep. Okay. Let's spawn it up. So we only spawn the two reds. Because we're not in line of sight Correct. of any of the spawns. So I'll start up in the left and then just go over there. Not playing with Eric. Not playing with Eric. Okay. He'll come up another time. Oh, we got black heart, guys. Oh. So we're going to play one, three, six. The napalm rule. We're going to go one, three, six. Okay. Napalm rule. So the black heart comes out. Black heart comes out right here. Right? Yep. And we got to spawn. So I assume he can exit here. Like, he can go to the, the colored spawn. So as you know, with the Necromancer, he can move and then come up. Yeah. So we're going to spawn his spot now. Nope, that card doesn't oh. count. Nope. So the next one will... Walker. Waka, 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 waka. Walker there. And then the other spawn is a walker. Waka, 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 waka. All right. Okay. Rock and roll. Let's get another thing in here. It's your turn, Shawnee. All right. Shawnee P. Shawnee P. Do you ever go get some, like, Sean Jean uh, clothes <laughs> and wear those around? No. no, 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 no. <laughs> I think if, if my name was Sean, I'd always rock the Sean Jean. The Sean Jean. <laughs> I guess I'll go ahead and just... I guess I'll just move three spawn, you know, three... So down and then two to the east, the west. So, uh, okay, start with the end. So one down. Yeah. And then, you're just gonna and then two to the west. Okay. Yeah. Moves two over. One down, two over. Getting set. And then, sp and then spawn that. I guess oh, spawn shoot, the, uh, right. the red. We've got to spawn the, the... Do we have to spawn this one or just the red one? Do we have to spawn the... Do we have to spawn the other one too? I'm sure people will tell that Chibi says it. Can we follow Pac-Man rules and go off the board and teleport to the other side? <laughs> yeah, <I wish. laughs> Infinite board, that'd be sweet. <laughs> oh, Westgrove's taking off. It says there's one other spawn. No. Any spawn zone, says JXM. According to the missing page, it's any spawn zones. Whenever a survivor ends his turn within line of sight to one or it's more spawn that. zones. Yeah. So we have to spawn both those there. Dude, this mission is savage, man. <laughs> yes. Okay, so let's spawn him. All let's right, dude. Spawn the standard. Oh, look what it is. Oh, Here we go. oh nothing inside. Nothing inside. Oh. Okay, stop. Stop. You're not coming out yet. We just hear him in the distance. He's out in the distance, guys. So nothing in sight. Because <laughs> we're in blue. We're in blue. We're in blue. Awesome. I got excited. Okay. Ignore that card. So that, that means we got rid of one of the Abomin Alphas. He did not make it. Captain Bones like you're blue, bro. So that was for the red spawn, and then the next one's a walker for the uh, bomb, uh, necro. Waka, 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 waka. Okay, not bad. All right, next turn. Oh, man. Uh, so every time we do that, there'll be, there'll be two spawns. Yeah, my Here yeah. now, yeah, that's brutal. Until yes, we kill is. that, uh, until we kill that necromancer, because we so we could go hard. Oh, Savage just got push up. Okay, I'll have to do some push-ups here in a little bit. Keep me going. I, I had some uh, Taco Bell today. I haven't had Taco Bell in a long time. I got the Diablo sauce. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, Montezuma's Revenge later. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. I, I wanted to fall asleep <laughs> immediately. I got. I went with the triple... What was it? The Or the... Uh, what is it? The double... No, the... What is it? The... Uh, I can't think of the name of it. <laughs> Yeah. It was the T2 combo. I can tell you that. I went to the KFC Taco Bell. <laughs> T2, please. All right, Lady Grim, what are you doing? All right, so let's just go ahead and do the same thing. Okay. Let's go ahead and spawn them both. One, two, three. Just going to head to the west. Head to the east. Oh, man, spawn some more. We're just going to have to take it. We're going to have to take it. We, gotta be, we can't be scared. A walker. Waka, 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 waka. I, I, I can't eat Taco Bell hell anymore. Taco hell anymore. It wasn't bad. It tasted good. But the Taco Bell I went to, the Diab the, well, Diablo sauce tasted pretty good. It's not that hot. Um, but the Taco Bell I went to, like inside the, the the hot sauce containers, like they had all six of them or whatever, inside the fire yeah. one, the there was a there was a, a rubber glove. Nice. Yeah. Oh. That's a chill. I was like, 
I mean, yeah. I know they're packets, but someone had left, the, one of the workers left their rubber glove in there. Like, it was dirty, the KFC Taco Bell. It was, uh, so I might be uh, a little bit rough after this game. <laughs> waka, 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 I'm going to have to take a little edit break. Uh, <laughs> oh, edit break. <laughs> okay, we got two more walkers for this necro spawn. All right, man. Savage. Okay, it, would it be worthwhile for us to split the party? Or should we stay together and, and push? Because we're going to have to get to this door somehow. Yeah. Is that the plan? Uh, like, if we avoid... I'm just, green, I'm just trying to think of what we're going to be doing. With if we both... If we if we avoid the blue and green spawns from, from like, you know, stopping our... act Like, at the end of our activations, they right. just don't spawn. So, as, I think as long as, like, we're stay together and maybe head this way, yeah, we're going to spawn some more crap. Um, next turn I'll be able to charge in there with Klom. I don't know. Right. Maybe one of our teams is like kill or beat him up. Oh, but if I search to try to get better, I'm not going to make it to you. Maybe yeah, because then you spawn three if you try to go when you're in the intersection. Yeah, that'd be bad. So I either come with you or I spawn one and just go down to the next door. What do you What do you think? Right. Uh, man, I don't know. Yeah, go. I would. I say, yeah, go to the other other room, spawn the blue one. Because, or else we're gonna run. We're gonna get stuck, right? You think? Yeah, yeah. You so you think you'll be able to handle these dudes? We're gonna split the party. Yeah, because I've got. Yeah, I've got. I've got those two. They can do damage. Plus, she's got shove. So if, if oh, it gets yeah. hairy, we can, oh, we're just gonna just, keep, just keep shoving as long as we can kill that necro. Okay, cool. Okay, so Klom's yeah. gonna go one, two, three. I'm just going to do that, and then in my activation there, this is going to be interesting, and then I have to spawn it. Spawn the blue one. We got a fatty. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to do, I guess, the same thing with her. Yep. One, two, three. It's going to stick them, keep them together. I thought about just going one, two with a search just to get more badass, but... Um, I'll just do this. One, two, three. Uh, zombie spawn. Oh, there's the abominable rat, but nothing oh. in sight. Hype. Okay. Dodge the bullet. Dodge the bullet, guys. No abominable rats. No awesome minis have hit the table yet. Oh, I got to do. Oh, that was the zombie spawn. Okay, so zombie spawn. So now they move. Move up here. And it takes two damage to kill that necro, by the way. You gotta remember that. That's the black heart necro. Oh, does it? Yeah, that's his thing. So then we're gonna spawn these up. So spawn the red on the top left. Oh, the other bomber rat. We missed it. Okay, he's out of there. Good thing we're in blue. Uh, the necro spawn there. Oh, it's a necromancer spawn. Oh, oh we're bringing out the other Sean Patterson custom necro that he painted with the awesome base. Ah. Oh. Well, that was okay. So yeah, I forgot that was that with that one when I. When you when you suggested because I was gonna paint the robes red so he'd show up on stream, and you're like, oh well, no, we'll do the uh, uh, do you know, like just just paint the the base like then you said base like oh, I can do it I, basically so that came up with the idea of doing you know doing something to the base yeah and so my original thought was like doing the uh, the matrix ripple when it, when the when the helicopter hits the side of the building right. it does that. <laughs> that's effect. pretty cool. But, uh, I assumed I was like, well, for one, I was like, you know, with my, for the first time ever doing it, it's like that's out of my pay grade. And then also, I figured to actually make it to pull off, pull it off, the base would be too big. Yeah. It's like I forget it, so I'll just make a stone pattern, and then you know, paint it up red, and, like he just kind of melted the entire area. Yeah, it's freaking it awesome. Up. It's really cool. But anyway, so. No, dude, that's. I think it looks amazing. I love the thickness of the base. It like feels real, like it feels like a like a sculpt. It's Chunky. really cool. Um, Wes is asking, uh, what brand of paint do you use? It's pretty much all uh, Vallejo. I Vallejo. do have. I have brought in some Citadel. Here, there. there you go. So there you I, go. The majority of it. Vallejo. Vallejo, right on. Have a great night, Eric. It's good to see you. Got to go see my friend. Needs help getting to the hospital. Oh man, hope he's okay. <clears throat> hope everything's okay. 
Take care. And Sea Otter says, now we have two Necros within one space of each other. That means Cabal rules. Uh, that they leave the board, right? Is that how that works? Or their spawns become permanent. Or is it after? I think it's right. after their activation, though, right? Love. Oh. oh, welcome back, Mr. Captain, Captain Flash. Flash. Woo! With the five months. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Can't thank you enough. What's my Cabal rules? Guys in chat, what? Yeah, Sea Otter. For the Cabal rules, what is it? Uh, if they're within one space of each other. Was it? I think they just leave the board. Don't they leave the board or do their spawns just become permanent? I'm forgetting now. It's both. So it, it would, if they leave the board there, their spawns stay. Right. And then also, if, if those leave, we, we lose the game. Because there's six, there'd be six, uh, isn't that right? Yeah. Six spawns on the board. Yeah. Range one of them. Uh, flee the board as if they escaped. You're right. Their escape zone. Yeah. Replace the necromancer spawn tokens that are just on the board of the standard zombie spawn tokens. Damn. That's right. But when but when do they go away? As soon as they appear? Uh, or after they move? It's when they when necromancers standing at range zero one from each other, the end of a zombie phase. At the end of a zombie phase. So, so since they're within one. Phase. Is this a zombie phase? Um yeah. Well, because they're spawning right now. So we just did we just spawned him and just drew for his card, right? Right, but I mean what I'm getting at is that's not the zombie phase, this is the spawning phase, right? Yeah, well they moved. This is the whole zombie. This is part of the zombie phase. Uh, so, like, oh. we did the zombie move, and now the zombies spawn, right? So we still have to spawn that other that other spawn. At this point, right after we do that, these will become permanent spawns. They both leave the board. Right. Um, what sucks okay. is once we have six... Wait, do yeah. these count, then, against that six, the Necromancer Cabal rules rule? If there are six spawns on the board and they leave the board, then we lose? Because well, then I we just lost. Is it six... I think it's is it six active spawns? Because those aren't active, per se. Yeah, I would have to say those, for this to be even possible. Does that necro mean the other guy moves? Um, uh, no? Because it's, it's just yeah, a regular... Yeah, they're not the same time. Oh, maybe it does, actually. Yeah, maybe he's right, too. That he would get an extra... Uh, drawing a necromancer zombie card also gives an extra activation to other necromancers on the board. So, yeah. The more you know. So they would be two away. That's right. There are not six active spawns. Can't wait to see the YouTube one. The original activates. Okay, so he does move one more away. So they, they are not within one of each other. But there are six active spawns on the board, which means... Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, Wes is like, I can't wait to see the YouTube comments. Well, I'm just curious because this is basically could end our game right now. Because with the six, the necromancer rule, when there's six spawns and in in they leave the board, then we lose. So I'm just verifying that we didn't just lose. Loss of a necromancer, so Captain Meal, the game is immediately lost if a necromancer manages to escape once there's a total of six zombie spawn tokens on the board, including necromancer zombie spawn. Oh, because they haven't escaped. Right. So they didn't escape because of the activation. So he moved. So he moved. Right. They're not one with each other, so these don't become permanent, and no one leaves the board. Correct. We just need to be sure we take care of them now. Now I'm going to spawn this last spawn over here, uh, which I haven't done yet. Oh, not an Abomin Alpha. We missed him. Evil Troy. Oh. Nope. Uh, Queen Medea. Nope. Nope. Oh. Nope. Nope. <laughs> These are all ones we're not playing with. And then Walker. Okay. Walker, 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 Walker. So you're keeping track of the Necromancer cards? Yeah. We got one regular, one of the other dude. So there should be two left of the others. So JXM says there's only four active. It, and Captain's arguing it's spawn tokens, so in general. So right now we do have one, two, three, four, five, six active spawns. So we got to be sure we take care of these dudes. Right. <laughs> West goes, yeah, he's keeping track. I, I bet chat's keeping track. <laughs> if Napalm's in track, we've got the old QC... <laughs> the old QC team here. Napalm doesn't let anything slide, man. <laughs> okay, boom. Okay, so now we're here, guys. Let's take a first edit break. I know this was a full, long first part. 
We had some little rules questions we had to confirm because I want to make sure we're not dead. <laughs> Sean is using the Relda sheet. <laughs> yeah, where's Reld? Reld in the Relda Beast. Should be making the Relda sheet. But we'll be back, guys, for part two. Sorry for the first part being so long. But we hope you enjoy the awesome new minis painted by Sean. They look sick. We hope you're enjoying the rules here and talking about some awesome campers. We have great people in the chat. We have great people like Sean that hang out as part of our community. So we like to talk to them. Uh, and we're having a good time. So we'll be right back for part two of episode nine. Black Plague. Two and two.